Contender number one, Mark Shaw and Ultra Everdrive. Ultra Everdry is super hydrophobic, meaning that it repels water far beyond what you're normally used to. Ultra Everdry adheres to any surface and creates a microscopic barrier of air. So when you pour liquid onto it, those air pockets repel the fluid by never allowing it to actually touch the surface. So even when an object is fully submerged, it comes out bone dry. It's, it's new technology, and it's something that's going to make things a lot better to use. And no matter how much water they throw at us, it's just going to keep throwing it right back at them. Gentlemen, I've been dying to talk about super hydrophobic materials for a long time, and finally we get our chance. What Great. does super hydrophobic mean? <laughs> super hydrophobic basically means that uh, it creates a low surface energy that will create a water droplet with an angle of greater than 150 degrees. Stop. Super low surface, surface energy. Energy. Well, let me just show it to you instead of trying to explain it. So this would be a normal sifter that's not coated, and you can pour water in there. It's okay. going to just make so a mess and go right through. OK, so that's cola that you just poured that's into cola, the sifter. Yep. All right. Now, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen is that the Ultra Everdry is not going to allow the cola to go through. And you can see that we can actually move it around in there. And it is showing how water resistant and water repelling the material can be, that it even turns something that's designed to allow water to flow through it and it actually holds the water. But this water cannon delivers a bit more than a splash of cola, about 16,000 gallons more. Will Ultra Everdry hold up? Let's find out on a proving ground. We want to know what happens when we completely submerge an object that's been protected by Ultra Everdry. So we're filling each tire with various liquids, including cement, paint, mud, and tomato sauce. Mario's got his right foot is a cleat that's coated in Ultra Everdry, top and bottom. His left foot is uncoated. So Mario, why don't you show us what you got? Can Everdry resist the sticky nature of these mess-making goops? Three, two, one, go! So how did his shoes end up looking like this? Well, even though each shoe spent the same amount of time in the goopy soup, only the Ultra Everdry shoe comes out clean. I think its ability to withstand water and repel those liquids is going to carry it to the finish line. I don't see Ultra Everdry being beat. But the water cannon produces massive volume and massive pressure. Can our giant chunk of showdown foam coated in Ultra Everdry, resist the unrelenting deluge. Well, let's see if we can clear that up in a muddy swamp. Muddy, wet, nasty, and we're gonna bring in our friend Frog on a four-wheel unit to show you just how effective Ultra Everdry can be. What we did is we coated half of the four-wheel with Ultra Everdry, the other half is uncoated, so you should see the difference very clearly. So is half of this 4x4 four four dry, even under these extreme conditions? Well, let's take a look. All right. Awesome. This is our first time trying it, and it worked out absolutely awesome. And what's cool is this is perfectly dry. No water, and then, of course, that's absolutely soaked and, and muddy. I mean. Hey, the results came out great. Ultra Everdry performed in the most mucky, muddy, wet conditions. We've proven ourselves here. Bring on the competition. Ultra Everdry is going to provide a clean sweep.